hello students hope you all are doing well so as last class we had already started k turtle let me again remind you that k turtle is an open source software that allows us to draw figures type text and perform simple calculations today we are going to learn about the k turtle window components as you can see in front of you is the k turtle window it has different sections and we start with the editor pan so this area is called a editor pan it is present on the extreme left of the k turtle window and it is the area where you type your commands so these commands can be numbered as 1 2 3 and so on the number of commands you go on typing they go on numbered as 1 2 3 4 and so on by default as you can see one appears here by default next comes the canvas which is the canvas students this is the canvas as you draw a diagram or a picture you need a canvas okay so similarly this area is called the canvas and the canvas is present in the middle and by default the turtle is present on the canvas and when you open the k turtle window the you can see the turtle in the center of the canvas and as you go on giving commands the turtle goes on moving next comes the inspector pan this place is called the inspector pan it is present on the extreme right of the k turtle window and it gives us information about the commands being executed so whatever commands you are going to write their information will be displayed in this inspector pan next comes the menu bar as every window has a menu bar the k turtle window even has a menu bar you find different options in the menu bar this is the menu bar students and you find options like file ka edit canvas run tool setting and help these menu items contain various options to perform different actions next comes the tool bar this area is called the tool bar this whole area is called the tool bar and these all are the tools present in the tool bar we start with the new the new option helps us to create a new file it clears the editor window if there is something written and helps us to set a new instruction that we can type next is the open one so what does the open uh, option does the open option helps us to open an already existing file as you know the work of save and save as is to save the set of instructions that we are writing is that clear students next comes the run command the run command executes or runs the commands written in the program k turtle allows users to run program at different speeds then comes the full sp the run command has different speed like full speed slow slower slowest step by step okay and so on next comes the pause command the pause command helps us to pause the execution of a program for a temporary period of time on clicking on the run the again the execution of the program begins next come the abort option the abort option stops the execution of the command permanently so let me make it very clear to you pause and abort has two actions which are different from each other okay so what is the difference between the pause and the abort command the pause command stops the execution of the program temporarily whereas abort command stops the execution of the program permanently next comes the console 
can you see here i have marked it console what does the console do it has a text box can you see here this is the text box you can write text over here in which we enter one line commands okay these commands we enter and after entering them you can either press the enter key on the keyboard or you can press this execute command just beside it so as to execute the commands the output of this command is seen on the canvas as soon as you press the enter key on your keyboard or you just click on the execute command on this window you will start you will see that the turtle starts moving the output of this command is seen on the canvas and as the commands in the editor are not affected the console is usually used when we want to test the output of a single command okay next comes the status bar the status bar is present at the bottom of the screen as every screen has a status bar the status bar is present at the bottom of the screen and it contains information about the language being used to give commands and the current location of the cursor in the editor i hope the window components is now clear to you thank you students keep learning computer